So in the, in the context of the Nutrition and Growth uh, Conference in, in Amsterdam, we had uh, a symposium on the relevance of yogurt consumption in terms of lifestyles and also health uh, outcomes, especially cardiometabolic uh, ones. In my presentation, I focus on the relevance of yogurt as a food because it's ideal or optimal uh, composition, providing especially uh, a good source of calcium and vitamin D in those consuming that, uh, that food. Also because in general, uh, yogurt consumers have a healthier dietary pattern, and this was observed not only in adults, but also in children. And what is more new is probably the link, the association between different lifestyles like physical activity and low sedentary behavior and the consum consumption of yogurt. We can speculate that those children and adolescents adopting a healthier lifestyles like physical activity and low sedentary time are more prone to consume healthy foods like yogurt. So, um, the take home message from my talk today, uh, first, uh, there is a, a likely favorable or neutral association between yogurt intake and adiposity indicators in children and adolescents. Need more studies need to be done. I think you get that point pretty clearly. Uh, there is favorable association between yogurt consumption and type 2 diabetes risk. This is clearly demonstrated in, in adults, and there's at least one study that suggests it is the case in children. But again, we need more studies. There's a neutral association between yogurt intake and the lipid profile or blood pressure in both adults as well as in children, at least based on a few studies that I've shown today. Our results indicate that yogurt consumption in youth is associated with lower insulin levels and this particularly in those with a familial predisposition to obesity. This association appears to be independent of body composition and many lifestyle factors considered in the present study. Uh, finally, uh, it is important to consider the introduction of a variety of, of foods, of course including uh, yogurt and uh, sometimes in young uh, children, especially the, the, the plain yogurt is not so easy to, to be introduced, but as uh, we should do for all the, the foods, including for example vegetables, we should emphasize uh, parents to propose the children six, eight, ten, ten times in order to introduce the, the most difficult foods that could be these ones. We learn about foods in a context and children learn what a food should taste like through experience. I think the focus often is on the child where the focus should be on the family because it is the parents or the family who are feeding, who are offering these first foods. And what we are finding through basic research is the development of preference for the foods is, is happening quite early. Before the age of two, you can kind of predict what the child is going to like. So I would say, as any dietitian or, or uh, nutritionist in this room could, could say also, is feed the child what you want them to eat and focus not just on the child's diet but on the family's diet as well. Yes, indeed, we had a, a wonderful and very successful and very well attended uh, meeting uh, regarding uh, yogurt and health benefit of yogurt, specifically in childhood. And my first comment and feeling is that who could have imagined centuries ago what could be the benefit of yogurt? It, it, it was not called yogurt at that time, but fermented milk, at least. Who could have imagined that science today could demonstrate health benefit of yogurt? <laughs>